The Chinese electronic vehicle manufacturer Xpeng Incorporated's flying car made its first public flight in the United Arab Emirates as the company works toward launching the electric aircraft on international markets. The United Arab Emirates served as the location for the flying car's first public flight. The X-2 is an electric vertical takeoff and landing EVTOL, aircraft with room for two passengers. It has a total of eight propellers, with two located in each of the vehicle's four corners. The maker of the flying vehicle called the unmanned test flight that took place in Dubai on Monday for 90 minutes as a essential base for the future generation of flying automobiles. The general manager of Xpeng Era, Mingguan Xiao, stated that the company is making step-by-step -step moves toward entering the worldwide market. First, we chose the city of Dubai since Dubai is widely recognized as the most inventive city on the planet. On October 11th at Skydive Dubai, Xpeng Aero HT, which is based in China, successfully completed the very first public test flight of its electric flying car. There were approximately 150 people present for the event, which took place against the backdrop of breathtaking views of the cityscape and ideal conditions in the airspace. During the flight, which lasted about 90 seconds, the automobile demonstrated its capacity for electric vertical takeoff and landing EVTOL. Even though it will probably be many more years before a car that is ready for sale can be shown in showrooms, the firm that is behind it has shown that it has proven all of the required features that the idea is very near to being a reality. Structure and Characteristics the Chinese business Xpeng Aero HT describes the Xpeng X2 as a fifth-generation flying automobile. The Xpeng X2 is being independently developed and built by the Chinese company. It is a two-seater that takes on a minimalistic teardrop-shaped form, giving it a highly futuristic aspect that appears to have been taken directly from a science fiction movie. In this case, aerodynamics, weight reduction, and the utilization of a body made entirely of carbon fiber have all been taken into account in order to attain the highest possible level of performance while in flight. Due to the fact that it is an all-electric vehicle, it does not emit any carbon emissions and helps contribute to the worldwide campaign to eliminate internal combustion engine IC, cars in favor of cleaner forms of urban transportation. According to Xpeng, the X2 is particularly appropriate for low-altitude city flights as well as short-distance city travels such as tourism and medical transportation. But arguably the most fascinating aspect of the vehicle is its capacity to fly by itself. Passengers may initiate incredibly risk-free takeoffs, landings, and returns at the push of a button while using this mode of transportation. There is also a manual mode available for those of you who want to live life on the edge. Information on costs and quantities. Due to the fact that the vehicle is still in the early phases of development, there has been no information released on the cost or availability of the vehicle. However, during the company's 1024 Tech Day held in the autumn of 2018, we found out that the company's sixth-generation flying car will not be available until sometime in 2024 and might be priced at less than $156,600. This more recent generation of the model will also have the capability of road travel. Despite the fact that those prices can be used to arrive at an estimate for the price of the Xpeng X2 as well, the 2024 availability date sounds way too optimistic. This is especially true when considering the numerous challenges that will need to be overcome before any vehicle of its kind is allowed to take to the skies. Obstacles posed by regulations Before any aircraft, including flying vehicles, can be issued an airworthiness certificate and finally be given the green light for mass production, there must first be an extensive amount of testing conducted to ensure its dependability and safety. According to a research published by Protocol, the only vertical takeoff and landing VTOL, specific standards that have been suggested anywhere in the world are located in Europe. In the meanwhile, no EVTOL company in China has been awarded this type of certificate. Because the certificate does not yet contain a provision for EVTOL technologies, businesses who are currently working on such technologies are unable to apply for the certificate even if they wish to do so. As a consequence of all of this, it won't be for many years, maybe even decades, 
before we see the first flying automobiles making their way into our everyday lives. That's all from our side. I hope you liked the video. Like and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button to get more informational videos. Thanks for watching.